Hey guys, today I want to present a solution for IMO 2022 problem 2. At first let's have a look on the problem statement. We were asked to find all functions from the positive reals to the positive reals such that for every positive real number x there is exactly one positive real number y such that the equation x times f of y plus y times f of x is less than or equal to 2 is satisfied. At first let's make some notation. I call y of x to be the unique positive real number such that 1 is satisfied. Now the first thing we want to do is to figure out what possible solutions we have. And the first idea if you have a closer look on the question is that f of x is equal to 1 over x as one possible solution. And now by AMG and inequality we know that x over y plus y over x is greater than or equal to 2. And this is very good because equality holds if and only if, as x, if x is equal to y. And now if we put in f of x is equal to 1 over x in our equation 1 above, then we have exactly this term and we know it's exactly less than or equal to 2 if x is equal to y. Therefore, f of x is equal to 1 over x is indeed a solution. Now let's prove that this is our only solution. If we find exactly one solution satisfying the condition of a problem with a functional equality or functional inequality, it's always a good idea to consider some cases that the function has not the value of the founded solution for some positive real x. Therefore, we suppose that there exists some x such that f of x is greater than 1 over x. Now we have two opportunities for y of x and the first case is that f of yx is also greater than 1 over yx. In this case we plug in x and yx into our equation 1 and we get that x times f of yx plus yx times f of x is greater than x over yx plus yx over x and now by AMGM inequality this is greater than or equal to 2 but this is obviously a contradiction to our equation 1. Therefore, this case is not possible. So let's consider the second case. Here we have f of yx is less than or equal to 1 over yx. Now we plug in yx into the equation 1 for x and for y. And then we get that yx times f of yx plus yx times f of yx is less than or equal to 2 times yx over yx and this is equal to 2. Therefore we know that y of yx is equal to yx. But since the problem is symmetric in x and y, y of yx is also be equal to x. This means that we have f of x is greater than 1 over x, and since yx is equal to x, f of x is also less than or equal to 1 over yx. And this is also a contradiction. So it is not possible that f of x is greater than 1 over x. Now we already figured out that f of x is equal to 1 over x works, and also that f of x is less than or equal to 1 over x for every positive real x. In our next step, we want to put in x and x into our equation. And this gives us that x times f of x plus x times f of x is less than or equal to x over x. 
and this is equal to 2. Therefore, we know that yx is always equal to x. And thus, since our yx is unique, we know that x times f of y plus y of times f of x is always greater than 2 for every x not equal to y from the positive the numbers. So, as I already said, it's always a good idea to consider some positive freeze x where the function is not equal to 1 over x and therefore uh, we consider the case that there is some x for which f of x is less than 1 over x and this means that we can write f of x to be equal to 1 over x plus epsilon and here epsilon is a positive so now the next idea is to make some contradiction with this inequality and also with this inequality. I call this inequality 2. And since the equality case by the AMG inequality is when x is equal to y, there's almost an equality case when x is almost equal to y. And therefore our idea is to put some y into the equation which is a bit greater than x. So therefore let Delta be also a positive free number. And now we want to put in x and x plus delta into our equation 2. So x and x plus delta into 2 yields that 2 is less than x times f of x plus delta. x plus delta times f of x. And now we know that f of x is equal to 1 over x plus epsilon and therefore we can write this as x times f of x plus delta plus x plus delta over x plus epsilon. And now we use this inequality and therefore we can say that our fraction here is less than or equal to x over x plus delta plus x plus delta over x plus epsilon. But now, since we choose a very small delta, this first fraction is nearly 1 and the second, second fraction is nearly x over x plus epsilon and therefore this is less than 2 for delta small enough. Therefore we have 2 is less than 2 which is clearly a contradiction and therefore indeed f of x is equal to 1 over x is our only solution.